what about truthfulness? What about if someone's either consciously or unconsciously exaggerating or not telling the truth? How does the testing show that? Okay, so we we're talking about um, neuropsychological testing is what I call client or patient driven, which means that you need the focus and the cooperation of the patient. Not so much for an imaging technique, right? If you're doing an MRI, as long as you keep from moving around, that MRI is going to take a pretty valid picture of whatever area of the body that is being imaged. But if you do neuropsychological testing, and I come across this a lot because I do a lot of medical legal work, that uh, people who are plaintiffs in cases may have a vested interest in looking like they're performing more poorly than they really are. And so I give them a memory test. What's to keep them from performing more poorly than they're capable of doing, okay? What's to keep them from offering more complaints or more severe complaints than they really have? So there's always this question of effort as well as maybe symptom magnification. So we have to look at that. Symptom magnification is something where people give more complaints, whether they are real complaints that they're just magnifying or false complaints, whatever. And generally we have a number of questionnaires in which we have validity scales. And that something like the MMPI, the MMPI is just one example of a number of personality tests that are distinguished not only that they look at some complaints, they also look at whether a person may be exaggerating or magnifying or actually trying to deny problems. So to a certain extent, we can rely on those scores to see whether or not there's magnification or what we call over-reporting or there's minimization or what we call under-reporting. That's different than effort, all right? So how you perform on a test is not a question of whether you're magnifying or not. It's whether you're trying or not. And so there are certain things we see in people who are not trying that are patterns that are pretty typical of people who are not trying. And there have been a number of tests that have been developed that capitalize on these principles. And lots of times are referred to tests of malingering, but malingering is nothing that you can pick up from a test. All you can pick up from a test is that someone is not performing up to expectations. Maybe malingering is what the issue is, but maybe as we talked about before, maybe they're anxious, maybe they're depressed, maybe they're sick. There could be a number of things. So our test results, there are certain test scores, certain test patterns that we could look at that we say, you know what, this person is likely not performing up to their capabilities. But unless you have some very specific patterns that are basically very specific to malingering, all we can do is hope to say that they're underperforming. It's then up to the clinician to put it all together and determine why. I hope you like this video, and please let me know in the comments what questions you have and what other topics you'd like me to discuss.